My name is Teresa Paliobase. My name is Steve Paliobase. I have a, a very long history of uh, urinary tract infections. Teresa, I've been treating Teresa as her infectious disease doctor since November 2011. As she has severe um, neurogenic bladder for an unknown reason, and she has chronic recurrent uh, urinary tract infections due to severe recurrent cystitis, chronic cystitis. I met Teresa in September of 2013. Before I met her, she had had uh, multiple pick lines that either failed because of the plugging up of the line or because of clots that formed in the veins. It always came down to the same thing with Teresa. Here's a patient who's motivated to get better and understands her that her situation is challenging and yet we can't achieve a simple goal of having a consistent, useful IV access for her. You know, the first time I got a pick line, it was pretty scary. I started to have some pain in my arm you know, in my armpit, and it was a little troubling. Sure enough, I had extensive clotting within a week and of the line being placed, and it landed me right back in the hospital. It went on like that for a couple of years where I would have to have a pick line placed, it would be admitted and treated and sent home, and I would, I would say 100% of the time, I had some sort of a problem with the pick lines that I came home with. She was having a lot of reactions that weren't your standard, you know, drug allergy, but more of a uh, hypersensitivity type reaction to medication. There were at least, you know, six to ten times where I was admitted just for a blood clot or to have, um, you know, a, a, an occluded line checked. 2013 alone, I mean, it was probably the worst year of our, of our 30 years together. It was really bad. I was in the hospital for six months of time, over, uh, I think, eight or nine hospitalizations. It just it eventually became a problem. They, they could not put them in my arms anymore. My veins had just suffered too much and um, they had started doing tunneled pick lines. So that's what happened, it was Friday the 13th, I remember. <laughs> got my new line and got home, and you know, um, over the weekend I started having, you know, noticing some issues with it, it's looking funny. The immediate area around the insertion point, at least a quarter in diameter, was this ulcerated looking festering as he calls it yeah. site and, it and then and outward from there a you know maybe you know tennis ball size was red and, and inflamed it was irritated that left me with the question of what do I put into this patient who's had multiple pick lines a port who's had this uh, a double lumen tunnel pick line and reacted um, to this pick line and uh, this tunnel pick line in such an unusual way it was painful, but it was more frustrating. You know, Dr. Karaman, by the end of that week, he, he called and he said, you know, come on in, let me take another look at it. And he looked at it and he said, you know, I, I just wonder if it's the line. We considered all different possibilities, including unusual fungal infections, very rare bacterial infections. And finally, we had to conclude that it looked like a reaction to the, the catheter material itself. Uh, I had recalled a white paper that I had seen on the bioflow material and the fact that there was a catheter available that, at least according to my colleagues and other institutions, really did have a pattern of inciting less fibrin response, less fibrin formation on the catheter. Dr. Karaman just called me and said, you know, Michelle, I've had this uh, idea. I learned about this new pick line and you know, I think Teresa may be having a reaction to her old ones, and um, and I'm thinking of trying it, what do you think? And at that point I was like, look, if you think it'll help her, let's try it. You know, he finally was like, you know what, I, th I feel like your body is like almost rejecting this material. And he said, let me, let me think about this a little bit, let me see what I can come up with. And, uh, and then he suggested this, this line, this, the bioflow. And so we tried it and uh, right away we could tell that there was a huge difference because um, immediately after the placement of this uh, bioflow pick, 
There was no reaction around the tunnel. There was none of the reaction that she had before. Since we've put in this new catheter, she hasn't had any of these reactions to tape. She hasn't had any more, essentially, complications of the lines, you know, related to infection or thrombosing. Bioflow has been amazing. If I had only known, you know, years before, yeah. I mean, the, the amount of stress it would have, you know, alleviated, it's, it's, it's amazing. If it wasn't for the bioflow material, I don't think I would have a workable answer for Teresa's IV access. Well, if you haven't met Teresa, she's very stoic, so I'm sure the average person would not respond to her life situation as she has. She's a very active woman. The fact that she is required to infuse IV antibiotics multiple times a day does not seem to stop her from doing any of her activities. I'm thrilled for her. <laughs> I went home thinking, oh, I hope this works, you know, I'm just so ready for a break. And, you know, it, it was perfect. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Even though I'm doing IV infusions, it's as close to normal as it's been in a long time.